it comes to full development of the chest muscles, most people struggle to develop the deep fibers that run all the way across the shoulder insertion all the way to the sternum. This thickness and density of the chest is what ultimately develops that massive upper shelf of the pecs. And if we look back at who had the most impressive chest development out of any era in bodybuilding, I'd say it's no contest the guys in the 60s and 70s in bodybuilding. They just had that massive full development of the pecs that you rarely see today, even by guys 30, 40, or 50 pounds heavier. Not to mention, if you're struggling to develop the chest, whether it's one part or just a lack of overall development, you're probably making this one same mistake that most are today. And most likely, you're not utilizing this one key old school training principle. And that's the full stretch and full contraction of a muscle. Take the typical dumbbell chest press. Many people will perform this movement by bringing the elbows down to where they're just parallel with the shoulder joint. And although the pec muscles are absolutely worked during this range of motion, this definitely isn't full range of motion. And the pecs can and should be taken into the fully stretched position. Exactly how far down is different for everyone, but it's something that can greatly improve with time as you work on your mobility. But the key to getting the most out of your chest development, it's not just full range of motion, as that's generally just a generic term thrown out by a lot of people. The key to getting more out of any chest movement is to fully stretch the pecs in that fully lengthened position. To do so, a slight pause is required at the bottom. And a good mental cue for this movement is stretch the muscle under load. You should think of the movement as not lifting a weight from point A to point B, but rather stretching the pecs as deep as you can while holding weights in your hands. Now that we covered the full stretch, let's talk about the contraction. Bodybuilders love to talk about how not locking out keeps the tension on the target muscle. While it's true that the triceps do work, support, and are fully engaged in any pressing movement, especially at the lockout, you have to remember that the function of the pec muscles is to move the arm across the entire body. If you stop any pressing movement short of lockout, the pecs are not fully contracted at any one point in the movement. And the key to getting a full contraction in any chest pressing movement is not just the lockout, but to also lock out and squeeze the pecs while bringing the arms across the body. This is something that, again, you can feel even without using weights. Try squeezing your fists together as you perform a hugging motion across your body. This same contraction should be performed across all chest movements, including presses and all fly exercises. Now, if you start performing your chest exercises using the old school bodybuilding technique of full stretch and full contraction, you're definitely not gonna be using as much weight as you were previously but you should notice some of the most massive pumps you've ever gotten out of any workout in your life. Give this technique a shot and apply it to all of your chest exercises and watch those pecs develop like they never have before. And if you're looking to build mass using proven old school bodybuilding training methods, I highly recommend you check out my five day old school masking program in the description below. And as always, if you guys wanna see more of the best original bodybuilding content just like this, make sure to hit subscribe.